Are we gonna be gay today? Not me. <laughs> we have a new look. It's for the, the banquet that's coming up. Yes, that's right. I believe we're being brought to the banquet with Because we're like Paris's. the special guest or whatever. Yeah. So we needed a nice dress for the occasion. Yes. And I made it because yes. it matches it's green, the so green of the bathhouse. <laughs> it's green, so it matches the female bathhouse that we were just in. You know the lore. The, the women's whatever. Yeah. Let's go. 900 gold. We got that. Unless you don't know because you haven't watched the other episodes, in which case, what are you doing here? Why are go. you here? Get, go watch the first. What are you doing? What are you. Actually, watch our channel intro first because that's funny. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. I like, I like the centerpiece. Very nice. When I've been picked up by another servant, I'm dressed in their traditional garb. My outfit resembles that of Lena, though it seems more sparkly. Damn. The long skirt I'm wearing doesn't seem to have any pockets, so I just sew my cell phone right into it. I don't want to lose it, even if I can never use it once the battery is completely drained. You just get struck by lightning and <laughs> it'll recharge it. Because that's how that works. Yeah. I'm led to a very large hall with small tables lining the sides. There are a lot of people around, but I recognize none of them. I don't spy any soldiers, and the trio of siblings are missing as well. I haven't gotten there yet. The servant guides me to a small table and tells me to sit down. There are empty bowls on the table ready to be used for food. You're the centerpiece. My stomach rumbles in response. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I'm surprised I didn't faint from low blood sugar. Are they even going to let you eat? Because you're like, stop loading in like that. Why is it only him? <laughs> That's a cute little outfit he got on, though. What's the I bottom? I love it. <sighs> then I spot a familiar face. Jameis walks into the room. He's not wearing his armor this time around, adorned instead in some more relaxed apparel. So with his hand fucking... <laughs> he stands up. Immediately, the picture of his naked form pops into my mind, Girl. and I try and shake it away. <laughs> no, go away, you go evil, away, intrusive you, thoughts. You evil, intrusive thoughts. Get, Get out, out of away. here. Stop it. Our eyes meet across the hall. His face twists into <laughs> annoyance. I'm the first to break eye contact. It's so awkward looking at him. What am I even doing here? Bro, he looks at The second he looks at you, he's... Ugh. You're gonna fall in love with me, just you watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He's coming over. God damn it. A shoe! Shoe! Get, get out, out of here! Go <laughs> be a roach somewhere Where's else. Caleb? For real! With each step he takes, my anxiety rises. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> jump scare. <laughs> Soon White enough, man jump scare. <laughs> Soon enough, he sits down on the empty spot next to me. Of course he has to sit here. It seems you managed to find your way over here in one piece. Oh! Yeah, we gotta, oh. come on, we gotta be bite. We need a bite. We need to. He Look, he started it. He started it. If he's gonna be a butt, we're gonna be a butt. And it seems you didn't get lost this time either. I'm not afraid to bite back. <laughs> this time? Yeah. Yeah, you want me to pull up the receipts? Well, you seem to get lost a lot. First you couldn't find my room, and then you thought the bath was for the men, oh. and- Silence! You will sit here and not open your mouth hole for the rest of the evening. That's oh, you, you gonna think. be asking me to- <laughs> We'll see about that. Just sit there in silence and wait for Lord Veritas to arrive. Worm. Piece of shit. Bringing up everything I've done. All right. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> I roll my eyes at him. What are you doing with your eyes? <laughs> Stop that weird thing. He doesn't understand. That Veritas better hurry up because talking to Jameis only works out my appetite even more. My Girl. stomach gurgles loudly once more. It's so loud, even Jameis looks down at me, eyebrows raised and all. Okay, this is really awkward. I can't control the noises my stomach is making. Do you have a living parasite inside your body? I'm not pregnant, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> what? No! That's gross. Then what is making that dreadful noise? Ugh. I told you to stay quiet. I can't help it. I'm really hungry and I haven't eaten since I got here. Do your bodies just not make sound? No, they don't. <sighs> Pathetic. Earthlings really are weak. You act like you're on the brink of starvation simply because you missed a day's worth of food. Uh, yeah! Look, when you eat every day, that's how it feels. I'm sorry that I live on a planet that has water and <laughs> food, you bitch. I'm not going to apologize for being hungry and having a different appetite from you. The meals will be served once Lord Veritas has arrived. Until then, control your stomach. Tell no. it to stop making weird <laughs> noises. You're embarrassing me. Oh, Princess Drek. Hello, Caleb. <laughs> Woo! 
Oh, damn. He doesn't even need to move. Out. <laughs> I look up and see Caleb walking behind me. He is also not wearing his armor. It feels less intimidating and makes him look more approachable. Oh, honey, he always been He was always to approachable, me. but even more so now? When I don't even want to sit next to this Hey, yo, you want to ditch this party with me? Yeah. I got a bed chamber back that got Dude, rid of the piss pot. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he doesn't know about the piss pot. Then she doesn't need to know about the piss pot. He doesn't even know pot. about the piss pot. <laughs> Unless. Hello. Hello. You are looking positively radiant tonight. Ah! Oh! I presume your trip to the hammam went without any trouble. Ah! Oh! You look beautiful and gorgeous, and I love to see your titties in that dress. Really makes them pop. <laughs> Honestly, he can objectify me like For that. For real! <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. That fine. He's allowed. He's allowed. He opened being nice and polite, courteous, respectful, and respectful of consent. And he's got that, so... that fang smile and the two-toned eyes and oh. the scar. And I didn't expect to be smooth <laughs> like this. <laughs> and shyly look down at my table. My eyes shift over to Jameis, who hasn't said a word. It certainly didn't go without trouble. It was nice. And to make a point, I add, the green accents in the room really complimented the view from the night sky. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sure they do, though I haven't witnessed such for myself. The, men <laughs> the men's hammam have red accents. Jameis just sitting there like... Captain Caleb. Wait, That's oh. Jameis. <laughs> Captain Caleb, can I just... <laughs> <laughs> so turns We're just funny. bullying <laughs> our love interest For, now. No, he needs to be bullied a little bit. <laughs> Captain Caleb, go to your seat. You know this isn't your place. Ha, he's annoyed. Ha ha, weenie. If you'll excuse me, princess. Oh, no, come back. No, come back. Oh my god. Switch places, please. please. come back. <laughs> Caleb takes a seat across from I us mean, instead. You know what? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not hey, I'm not complaining. I can, I can look nice at him view. without having to turn. I can just ignore Jameis. <laughs> just like. He's not there. Put up a little partition yeah. between us. Perfect. <laughs> I'd much rather have him as my seat buddy. Instead, I'm stuck with this grumpy potato. <laughs> He's a potato! I wonder if Bilius or Lena will arrive, but I haven't seen either of them. I haven't spotted Eoch either, so I'm assuming this banquet is not for grunt soldiers like him. Sorry, babe. I'm gonna throw myself Can't out the I window. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, there's no windows. The balcony. <laughs> And just like that, the entire room quiets down. Before, it was lively and people were walking about, chatting amongst themselves, but now it's eerily quiet. Snake Man must be on his way. Even I tense up before I know it. There he is! There he is! Long, flowing hair enters the room. With an elegance to his stride, Veritas slowly makes his way to the very end of the seats. He passes by me, and the hairs on my neck stand up straight. I'm getting flashbacks of yesterday, the brutality I witnessed with my own eyes. I've already experienced Jameis killing someone in front of me, but that was quick, to the point, without suffering. It was so fast I barely knew what was going on. But yesterday's flogging was a show, a point to be made. Cruelty. I'm terrified of him more than I've been of Jameis. Once Veritas sits down at the end, the crowd starts back up again. Let the feast begin! Servants start entering the room carrying golden trays filled with carefully placed food like a gourmet dinner. They're unfamiliar shapes, but it's rich in color. Reds, greens, yellows. It's making me forget my terror and salivate instead. This looks a lot better than what I've been eating on the spaceship. They start serving everyone in the room. I can't wait until they get to me. Princess, contain yourself. You are excreting in an unsightly manner. But it looks so good. I thought all the food was going to be textureless and boring. Careful before you stuff yourself full. Some of these foods may very well kill you. Stop saying Stop that. Stop lying! No, they won't. Stop being a little shithead. I rein in my enthusiasm. No matter how appetizing the food looks, it's still alien food. I don't know how I'll react to it. My stomach groans in response God. once my nose picks up the scent of something very delicious. I do not like this sound. <laughs> nope, screw it. I'm stuffing my face into that plate of food. I will take my chances. If it kills me, then it's... that's a win. Yeah. A servant places down a couple of bowls on my table. I examine each one, curious as to what their food is like. I wrinkle my nose in disgust when I see something that resembles an animal head on one of the plates. It's got a strange long body looking part snake and part crocodile. It's surrounded by leafy vegetables. It's not very appetizing. I use one of the long prongs to poke it. Its skin feels hard and tough. How do I eat this? I glance over at Jameis, who picks up the end of the snake-like reptile and uses his bare hands to tear off the head, pulling its entire spine with it. I like the eyes. 
<laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that? What is what? That is that a reference to something? No. You just made that up? Yeah. What the fuck? He likes the eyes. What is wrong with you? <laughs> no table manners. I've spontaneously lost my appetite. In fact, I almost want to hurl. I didn't need to see that kind of deep boning. Jameis then uses the prong to stab the body and lift it up to his mouth. The whole the thing? The whole ass body? He effortlessly bites it off with his long canines. I look around the hall. Everyone is eating the same way. To be fair, they all have razor sharp teeth. Can I even bite into this tough skin with my human teeth? Yeah, no, I don't Hell think so. No. Have you forgotten how to eat? Jameis questions when he sees I haven't touched any of it. You fucking pig. I poke the head with the prongs. No. Then why are you not eating? If you don't want it, I'll take it. Give it here. <laughs> so he sounds a little impatient. I mean, what the fuck is I'm not, happening I'm right not now? about to make a fool of myself trying to rip the head off. Like, yeah. that ain't me. Jameis! Jameis, I'm, 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 just, a, I'm just a weak to... little human. Oh, look, uh, oh, I already hurt myself trying. See, I can't do it. Yeah, I need a big strong man to rip apart my food for me. Yeah. And Caleb is like, oh, I'll get that for you. <laughs> Thanks, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can rip off the head like you did. What makes you so sure when you haven't even tried? You either try or starve. Your choice. Because then I guess I'll starve. Because I, I'm just a weak little human. I'm so I can't do anything weak. Right. I, like I glare at him and fidget in my seat. Fine, I'll try. Why do you give me the choice? For real! I lift up the reptile with my bare hands. It's lukewarm to the touch. With one hand, I grab the head, and with the other, the tail. I then try to tear it apart. But the skin is so tough, it feels like I'm trying to pull apart a thick rubber band. It's not budging in the least. It's gonna be like... <sighs> yeah, you see? Is... You fucking idiot, I told you so. I thought... He... <laughs> you know what? Fuck what I thought. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> God. Not wanting to admit I can't do it. Nah, I would it literally I'd just be like, see? And I got grease on my hands. Oh, come <laughs> on. I keep my mouth shut and try again, putting in all my strength. Except the tail slips out of my grasp, and I end up flinging the entire <laughs> body right into James's face. Deserved. Deserved. Get fucked. He blocks it with his hand before it smacks him. He narrows his eyes and growls at me. <laughs> Uh, I stammer as I let go of the body. That wasn't supposed to happen. Um, oopsie daisy? <laughs> Jameis impatiently rips the head from the reptile, spine and all, then flings it back onto my plate. <laughs> Just eat already. Don't toy with your food. What is happening? <laughs> I use the prong to scrape out the flesh and finally pop it into my mouth. Oh, I say, surprised at the taste as the flesh melts onto my tongue. Expecting it to be flavorless, I'm happy to find out it tastes a lot like regular fish. And then I throw all my manners out the window and dig in. I'm hungry and this actually pleases my palate. <laughs> Mama wants meat! Finally fitting Mama in. Mama wants meat. You know what, not you. Mama wants meat. <laughs> hey, Caleb. POV, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> All these new flavors and textures are scratching an itch I've had for a long time. Not the other one. <laughs> Do you remember when you said, when we were trapped on the, shi on the ship, you said, when she tastes spice again, she's going to be like, Yeah. This, yeah. It's, it's the happening. Itch. It's the itch. A month on a spaceship eating tasteless food has been much more soul-sucking than I thought. Now my taste buds can experience all kinds of new foods. I'm surprised they don't all taste bitter like that root I have to keep chewing on. It's mostly savory, sprinkled with earthy spices. I'm sorry, but Not forget what you may assume about aliens, but why would you? Why would your automatic assumption be that that's just how all their food is? Yeah, that like, everything tastes the same. In no time, I devour everything on my plate, finishing it off with a splash of cool water. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. I just realized the music changed. <laughs> Uh, people All right, in... now you're the dessert. Oh no, God! The people in the hall finally quiet down again. The mood changes from joyful to serious. Wait, there's either you're the dessert or you're the dessert. Oh, oh I'm scared. Veritas has risen his hands up in the air, a command perhaps. Captain Jameis, report. Jameis pounds his chest to dislodge a piece of meat before he clears his throat to speak. The journey to planet HX-108 went smoothly. 
taking us no longer than a little over one full noon. As we've seen from the scans, the planet was covered in mostly water. My ears perk up. He's explaining his mission to Earth. I guess HX-108 is their name He for said Earth. that before. Yeah, he did. Parts of the planet were populated, but they did not respond to any of our communications. Well, that's news to me. The Earthlings didn't seem to pose a threat, so we fired a warning missile. The immediate response was a primitive attack on our ship. A warning missile? Dude, you shot a missile <laughs> at them! Who does that? Ugh, primitive, he calls us. I attempted to negotiate, but it resulted in being hit by lightning. <laughs> Kane was like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> While the Earthlings may seem primitive with no technology, they do seem to possess strange abilities of their own. Wounded myself, I ordered the troops to retreat. Suddenly, everyone starts murmuring amongst themselves. They don't sound too happy. Coward! Should have stayed and fought! With our retreat, I managed to secure our bargaining chip for the future. I took the Earthling Princess. I glance to my left and right, feeling everyone's eyes on me. I'm the center of attention. Or should I say, the conquest. That's <gasps> the princess! A good prize! Very good! I believe with the princess as our bargain, we can attempt to force HX-108 to surrender and seize control. So we are going back. Yep. My eyes somewhat bulge out. He wants to take Earth? Wait, not only that, he wants to return? What does that mean for me? Am I returning to Earth as well? Please let it be so. But please also, nah. I mean, they want to take control of the planet, so... Yeah. It ain't gonna be the same for long. True. Kane gonna get your ass again. <laughs> In three noons, we return to Earth. Months? And this time, we'll claim it as our own. You will be prosperous. Lord Veritas's reign will prevail. Lord Veritas! I gaze down at my empty plate. I know what I heard right now is a war cry. They want to conquer Earth. But all I can think about is... I might be going home after all. You go home and they're like, Earthling princess, now, be diplomatic. They attack me, they kidnap me, they- <laughs> <laughs> A day after that grand speech about seizing Earth and whatnot, I am forced to report to the infirmary. No, no, they're gonna get their asses kicked. Billius! Princess Drac, you are looking more energized than yesterday. Thank you. You're so polite. It's nice to see you again. Stop. I learned something new yesterday. No! Why? I also learned something else. It's called flossing. No, 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 no. We're not I going there. I learned it from watching no. a movie about a blue hedgehog. No. <laughs> I hate this. <clears throat> YOLO, as they say. Well, I finally had a bath and ate some food. Did you take the tea? I made very sure to drink the tea so I won't spontaneously burst into flames. Yes. Good. Healer! Someone charges into the oh, room. Oh, God, he's screeching at the screeching top of the lungs. He's screeching at the top of his lungs. Please don't. Don't. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> you don't need to. Ooh. Ooh. I need a disco ball and some oh rave lights. Oh my god, lights. yeah. <laughs> Billius gets up from his seat and briskly walks over towards the frazzled soldier. What soldier. is it, pumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> it appears his arm is- oh no, it's broken. I've got you. Captain Jameis broke my arm during training. Please fix it. Holy fuck, Jameis. I don't want to be with this man. Billius says nothing at all, but starts handling the soldier with care. His redemption arc better be fucking oh whack, like cracked. <laughs> because right now I'm getting a very like Lars from Steven Universe feel where I'm basically sitting here going, yeah, he's going to have to die for me to like him. <laughs> <laughs> he quickly examines the damage, touching here and there with his hands, all the while carrying a serious expression. The soldier cries out in pain when Billius presses down on a particular sore spot. Yep, that's broken. Please relax. <laughs> then oh. his then his hands begin to glow a strange light blue, spreading onto the soldier's arm. With one swift movement, Billius cracks the bone back into place and the arm looks completely normal again. The soldier blinks at it and clenches his hand into a fist a couple of times, swinging around his arm to test it out. <laughs> like how you clenched with this hand but swung with this Yeah, arm. well, I didn't want to swing it and fucking smack you, you so. Yeah, right, yeah, that's true. Thank you. So considerate. Oh my god, your hand is cold <laughs> as fuck. Aha! Uh -huh. Excellent. Healer Bilius really is the greatest. He is. I he? love you. <laughs> Kiss me. Whoa! <laughs> Bilius POV.
Honestly, I'm super impressed as well. Did he really fix the broken bone just like that? I wonder what his healing capabilities really are. I didn't see him do anything special when he was working on Jameis's back. Yeah, because fuck Jameis. Jameis is a bitch. This time, however, he definitely used some special abilities. That's because he doesn't like Jameis and he wants him to take it to hurt. <laughs> take it easy for today. No heavy lifting. Yes, 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 so yes. He and he happily skips out of the infirmary. Once he's left, I turn to Vilius. Is it normal to have soldiers come in for broken bones? Yes. All too often, actually. If you're wondering whether Prince Jameis injuring soldiers is commonplace, then your intuition is correct. He's a brute, he's rough, but he's gentle with me. That sounds awful. Mm. Vilius's face doesn't change. Yeah. Soldiers get injured all the time during training. It's not my job to question it, only to heal. Well, you seem to do a good job at that. Thank you. <laughs> he shyly looks oh away, God. surprised I complimented him. Hold on, him. let me drink in this expression. It's a little funny to see his serious demeanor change to something more demure. Uh, well, <clears throat> perhaps, perhaps you can assist me on site at the training ground sometime. N not like a date or anything, but I, I mean, love maybe. to. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't mind a change of scenery. For the rest of the day, Bilius teaches me how to add a cast to someone's broken arm. So you do it like this. Oh, and gently. like our hands are overlapping. <laughs> yeah. uh, in case his ability isn't able to fix it, it seems even he has his limits. Oh, I'm gonna find those <laughs> limits tonight. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> a couple of days pass. I had someone instruct me that there were restrictions on my freedom of roaming around the palace. Can't leave the palace, can't step anywhere near Veridus's private chambers, which is comprised of an entire stretch of land, and I already forgot some of them. <laughs> the restricted areas should be easy to spot, though. They're guarded by their entrance. As long as I'm wearing the armlet, I can go nearly anywhere else. Just as I enter the hallway, I see Lena's hair disappear at the other end. Oh, I should say hi! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Lena! <laughs> I start jogging up to her, but she's too quick. However, when I reach the end, there's no trace of her left. I'm confused. Where did she go? I didn't imagine it, right? <sighs> Fine. I guess I'll just head back. <sighs> Lena. Except something else catches my attention. The sound of birds chirping. That's the first time I've heard an animal noise in this palace, and it intrigues me so much I follow the chirps. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, it's a garden. It's so pretty. Uh, so what about upkeep them vines in the bag? Would you go in? <laughs> I want that fountain. Soon I come across an open area leading into a garden. Wow, look at all that plant life. They're all horribly toxic. <laughs> Whereas the desert I had seen on the outside of the palace had been barren, this garden was the complete opposite of that. Maybe this used to be an oasis, and they just kind of like, mm. took it. Lush with greens and various other vibrant colors from all the flowers and bushes, it feels like I've stepped into another dimension. There's a water fountain spread across the garden, supplying water to all the plants around. It's so gorgeous. I stand in front of a particularly large plant. Oh, it looks like a yellow bell. Oh, it smells super sweet. I lean in to take in the scent. And then you fucking are knocked unconscious. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. You don't just- yeah, No! Yeah. Get away from there! I turn to face the voice, but I'm caught off guard when suddenly the bell-shaped mm. plant releases a vine from its open mouth and lashes my hand with it. I shriek and jump back, protectively holding my hand against my chest. The plant jiggles around and goes back to staying stationary. Ouch! It gave me a cut across the top of my hand. It stings. I look around to see where the voice came from and suddenly see a mini Veritas rapidly approaching His me? His son? Daughter? Aww! Oh my He's gosh. so cute! He's adorable! He seems really kind, too! Aww, what a Aww. baby! This must be- well, wait. Pr Jameis is adopted. Uh, let me see, let me see, he says in a concerned tone, his glimmering eyes focused on my hand. Awkwardly, I show him my hand. Ah, it's starting to really throb now. Wait, is it poisonous? Please hold still. This is going to sting a little. Oh. He deftly plucks a leaf from a nearby bush, pushes it into his mouth, and chews on it a little. With a feather-light touch, he lifts up my hand to his face. He then spits out the chewed-up leaf and presses it against my cut. <laughs> I know I offered, but that still, for some reason, grossed me out. <laughs> ah! I gasp when it stings even more. Sorry, but we need to extract the poison, so bear with it, please. Oh. 
And just like that, I clamp my mouth shut. Don't approach strange alien plants, got it? I should treat everything like it's a death trap. I'm going to be okay, though, right? He shoots me a smile as he continues to dab the leaf onto my wound. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's only a few more seconds, and that should work. No side effects, either. <laughs> I guess I wandered into the wrong garden. You certainly did because no one is allowed to enter here besides me. He says this in such a cheerful voice that I have a hard time telling whether he's sarcastic or not. He removes the leaf from my wound and I pull my hand back. It doesn't sting anymore. Thank you. But were you serious? I shouldn't be here. Completely forbidden to. But I can tell you're new. Everyone knows they're not allowed to enter my garden. Strict orders from my brother. Who's your brother? All right, How we old got is a he? mystery on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your brother? How old is he? Is he kind? And is he hot? What does he look like? Is he one of the royals? Is he someone we've met already? What's going on? I notice the word brother here and his striking similarities to a certain overlord, so I immediately blurt it out. Veritas? Yes. He doesn't want me interacting with the staff. He's Veritas' brother? He's his brother? But I'm not staff. It's okay. I can keep a secret if you can. You know what? Considering he immediately applied first aid and seems to be otherwise very nice, I'll agree to it. All right. Don't tell anyone I've been here. What's your name? You don't look like a Gaiore or Rehu. My name is Drac. I'm from planet Earth. I'm human. A human, huh? Well then, you're the first human I've met. Finally, it feels good to hear someone call me a human rather after being addressed as Earthling for the umpteenth time. Then what's your name? Nornis. Prince Nornis. I love you, Prince. I want to protect you forever, but you're probably <laughs> way stronger than me. <laughs> well, Prince Nornis, you have a very nice garden here. His eyes well up with pride, the pupils turning into even thinner slits. Okay, Aww. so this is his garden. He's the yes. one taking care of it. You think so? Aw. Yes, it's very pretty. I mean, a plant did just try to poison me, but that's my own mistake. Do you tend to this all by yourself? I do, yes. It's my own little world. Nornis beckons me to follow him towards the water fountain. Curious, I follow him. Oh, there's a reptile-like bird bathing in the water fountain. It has a striking blue color. It flies away when we get too close. Nornis dips his slender finger into the water. Rings appear from the surface until they start to glow an iridescent green. Silently, I watch as the rings appear faster and grow larger. Then he pulls out a long green stem from the water and presents it to me. It grew into a golden flower. Wow, hmm. the petals are really shiny gold. That's kind of odd. So him and Veritas obviously have plant and water related abilities. Mm -hmm. And yet this planet is very devoid of water. They used it all up, maybe? We don't know yet if this planet was naturally desert-like. True. I gasp in response and Nornis shyly looks down at the ground in response. That's writing sin. <laughs> you can have it. Aww. Eager to accept it, I'm about to take it from him, but I stop midway. Is it poisonous? <laughs> no. I don't wish to harm you. That's probably the nicest thing anyone has said to me since I arrived here. Hey, don't discount Eok! I've been miserable all this time, but this stranger, who apparently doesn't even know I'm a prisoner, treats me with a kindness I've been missing. Eok has been nice to me too, but I haven't seen him since the day I arrived here. Even Bilius hasn't been this hospitable towards me. Are oh, you just going to forget about Caleb? Like he's nothing? <laughs> not like you saved your life or anything. True. Not like totally you, not. Not like you own my or anything. <clears throat> so I can't help but have my eyes water up in response. I feel like crying. Nornis pulls the flower back, his <gasps> eyes wide. I I'm sorry, are you dying? <laughs> oh no, are you having an allergic reaction? No. I quickly wipe away any forming tears with my hands. No, I'm sorry about that. It's just, I'm happy you're being so nice to me. He looks a little confused at my reaction. <laughs> Perhaps he doesn't know what crying is. I don't really want to explain it, though. I feel silly for tearing <laughs> He's up. He's just sitting there like... Thank you, it's very lovely. I'd love to have it, I say, stretching out my hand to the flower. I'm about to oh accept the flower until a strong gust of wind makes it go flying out of Nornis's grasp. I swear to God, Jameis, why can't you just fucking let me have anything? <laughs> You wretched pest! Mm. God, oh, go away! God. Get out of here! <laughs> I'm tired of this shit! 
I instinctively freeze up as Jameis lands in front of me. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Why? You are in the royal garden. You are trespassing. You are engaging with the royal prince. I shrink in response to his, to him enunciating each word with venom. He's seriously mad. Be mad somewhere else. You are going to be Prince Jameis. Don't be mad. I asked her to come here. Please don't punish her. He pauses, his eyes shifting over from me to Nornis. It seems I'm so angry. <laughs> It seems he doesn't quite believe what Nornis is saying, but I keep my mouth shut. I don't want to anger him even more. A little piss, baby. <sighs> Regardless, Prince Nornis, you shouldn't engage with our... guests. You know the rules. Nornis looks crestfallen. I know. Oh. There's a rule where he can't talk to people? Wait, now he's the one being scolded? I can't let him take the fall for me. Actually, I start, but Nornis quickly jumps in front to cut me off. <laughs> Why don't you take her back to her room, then? Uh, Very well. Please, take care. See, now Jameis is like, ah, taking her back to her room. Yes, now this is something I can get behind. Yes, Fuck you. I can definitely take her back to her room. Come on! Then all attention is back on me. You follow me. Nornis gives me an apologetic look, and I smile back at him. It's okay, little one. It's okay, Nornis. You didn't do nothing wrong. Jameis remains quiet as he takes me back to my room. Perhaps he's seething inside, or perhaps he is an unfeeling machine. Who knows what he's thinking? Nothing. Jameis takes a small round device out of his belt. He looks at it while we walk. You may be able to roam the palace, but don't forget that I know where you are at all times. Oh yeah, I, I did forget that actually. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hold up, um, Jameis, I plead teehee. <laughs> <laughs> and the royal garden is definitely off limits. Go see, away. See, that's your little dot right here. Your dot's not supposed to be there. He could have given me a tour. No one is telling this girl yeah. shit. She has to, like, go out of her way to be like, hey, can you tell me something? And half the time they're like, no. <laughs> no one told me. You didn't either. I finally managed to catch a glimpse of the device and see a map of the palace covered in several colored dots. Jameis quickly puts it away when he sees oh. I'm looking at it. Yeah, because oh. he's tracking his siblings, too. I'll check with the servants to confirm whether they told you or if you just have... Brain damage. No one fucking tells me anything. But brain damage? Your earthling body is frail and weak. You've already gotten a new cut since the last time we spoke. And Jameis looks at the cut on my hand. I pull it out of his view. That doesn't mean I have brain damage. I'm perfectly rational and my memory is fine. Are there brains in their hands? That's debatable. He's so damn rude. I can't stand him. Yes. Yes. Ugh. He's so damn rude. Do you think you can manage not to starve without provisions until dinner is served this time? Go away. You no longer sent for that smirk, now you just want to slap it. We already teased him about getting lost before, so... Yeah. Why? Are you worried about me? Jameis shifts his eyes away from me in an uncharacteristic manner. Who told you? Don't speak such lies. Worry does not come into the equation. You are but an insignificant pest I have to deal with. Again, I don't like you or anything. Pest. You sooner piece of shit. For real! Get the data out! Stop being <laughs> soon! If I'm such a pest, then perhaps you shouldn't have kidnapped me. Enough! Return to your chambers. <laughs> I step towards the doorframe, but halt my movement. We haven't spoken since the banquet, but something has been on my mind. A question I've been dying to ask. Why your dick look like that? <laughs> Are you returning to Earth? Am I? Report to Healer Bilius in the morning. A servant will wake you. Go away! <laughs> Thank you. Without another word, Jameis flies off. I sigh out loud, left to wonder whether or not I'll be going home. I'm not going back in my room. You're just gonna have to come find me again. I well, that was exhausting. Very, very tiring. Well, we're about to do the next chapter, but I'm not happy about it. See you next time, I guess.